my mom first got the call and then she told me I was in school and she was like, you just got called up to be on the national team. A phone call in February 2024 that would change Kalina's life. <laughs> But it was a journey to this point. I think ever since I tore my ACL, I thought I'd probably even quit soccer, you know, take a step back of whatever I'm doing. But ever since then, like things have just been going uphill since I tore my ACL. Six months of doing nothing was hard, but that's why I'm a better player. Having to work by myself and just putting discipline on myself to get to where I am right now, that's why I'm still a hard worker and why I I won't take ever anything for granted. Speaking both English and Portuguese, Kalena takes pride in her family and culture. You know, saying I'm actually like Brazilian and speaking the language, it's like living the culture, it's that's definitely the dream. It's not even, you know, playing the soccer, like the sport. It's just seeing what the, like behind how Brazil actually is. Even now, like my parents won't talk to me in English. They'll only speak to me in Portuguese. I wouldn't be able to handle what I'm handling there if it wasn't for them speaking to me every single day. Them putting me in a state where I'm so young and I can do all of these things, this is for them. I don't know who else I would do it for, not even for myself, it's all for them. Following three weeks of training, she earned another call up and the 17U Brazil national team competed in the South American tournament where they qualified for the World Cup. How are you doing? It's after like all of this? <laughs> I get so much recognition now. How is this all happening? I look in my room and I have my jersey hung up in there. Like I have the I have the medal that I have. It's insane. I'll look back at the pictures almost every single day of what I've just been going through these past few months. Believe it or not, things are a little different in Brazil. I just love how they play, how disciplined the team is. Every morning, we go and shake their hands. We shake all the girls' hands, all the coaches' hands. We say good morning, good night. It's very respectful. There's two more call-ups until the World Cup team is finalized. And Kalena is just grateful to be along for the ride. Even knowing that I made just this last camp, like being a brand new girl and still making up to the camps, it's amazing. You know, I feel to myself that I still have a chance into this. This is my life now. I don't know what I would do without it.